Okay, so today we're going to be doing a really neat technique with our Ella Brijes that we made. So they've been fired. Um, they go in as clay, and once you do the first fire in the kiln, it's now called bisqueware. Um, it's a type of ceramic, and what it means is that it's, you know, it's not painted, it's not glazed, um, or any of the other things to finish it yet. So um, what we're going to do is a really neat technique where we're going to use oil pastels, and then we're going to do a watercolor wash over it. Now I know we're familiar with oil pastels. Our oil pastels, you know, I've got them in three bowls. I've got our cool colors. I have our neutrals, which are the white, the black, and the um, brown. And then I also have the uh, warm colors. So what we're going to do today is add the details onto our alabrijes. And remember, these are our sphere animals. They have, you know, we some of us put texture already on there. And then um, we were also going to add in some of those details and texture with um, the painting part. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing I'm looking at mine, and I love to have um, the cool colors. It just makes me really happy. So when I'm using my oil pastel, I'm going to think about the patterns that I had, and I'm going to just kind of color in some of those patterns on here. And you're going to notice, I'm just doing it nice and lightly, that it's looking, what I would say, awful. Um, I actually don't really like this at all. The feel's weird and all those other things. It's not really covering it. That's part of um, using this, oops, as I hit my camera. That's part of using an oil pastel. So there were times that I felt, oh, I really want to quit because I really don't like how this is looking. And that's okay to feel that way because once we do this last part, it's really neat. So I'm just going to take colors and you can blend colors over colors. Um, I'm just going to kind of mix them and do some of that fun stuff. Edges here. Give it some of the patterns that I'm looking for. Maybe I want some greens in a couple areas. Going through like that. Okay. And like I said, you're going to look at it and go, yuck. I have a paper towel if you want to blend any of the colors together using that instead of your finger. Or if you notice any colors are dirty, um, the quickest way to clean off um, is just to just gently, you don't want to take off the oil pastel, but you just gently wipe it and the oil pastel is clean. So I think I'm going to use some of the yellow, put some yellow in here. And like I said, the goal is not to cover the whole thing. You're going to look and feel like you're just scribbling and that might bother you and that's okay. So I've got some of this in here and I might grab black. I want some dark shadow lines on here, kind of going over that. Maybe I want some shadows on the edges. And you're not really having to color the whole thing because you won't. It just won't happen. The oil pastel just won't do it. It's just going to look really rough like that. So I'm going to do a short tiny bit just to show you what it's going to look like when I go to do the wash. Maybe I'll have some of that lines up here. And like I said, you could add in some cool textures or drawing lines that you really want to with this. And some of my areas I can't really get into. And that's okay. I'm just going to maybe just color. Like I said, it's not a lot of time. But I'm just going to color with the oil pastel. I might get on the back of my squirrel. You might feel like you're ruining it or don't like it. And are like, why am I doing this? Like I said, all those things have gone through my own head, but I know what the results are like, so trust me. Okay, so I might just do a cool design back here. Just so you guys can see what it looks like even for me. So I have a pattern started. I'm going to do another pattern and another pattern here. Another cool pattern this way. And you can leave areas blank. And that's completely fine. Maybe I want to have 
some black dots on here. Okay, so now I've done my squirrel's tail. The next step, once you've done your entire um, abrihe, you're going to do this next step. So what I'm going to do, slide these things over, and you'll take out a watercolor tray, and then up at the sink you're going to find, because I just don't like to have a ton of things at the table, it feels um, kind of messy, you're going to find a cup of water and you're going to use your watercolor brushes. Now, these uh, particular, why they're called a watercolor brush is because the hair on them actually holds a lot of water. So when you use watercolor, you can get watercolor three different ways. You can get it in a palette like this. You can get it in already liquid down watercolor called liquid watercolor. Or you could even get it in a tube that's really concentrated and looks like toothpaste. And what you would do is squeeze it out like a tiny, tiny amount, and then you get it really wet, and you could even have an entire bowl of just that one color, because that's how concentrated it is. So, I feel like doing a black part of the tail. Before you paint, you need to wake up a watercolor. So what I do is I dip my brush in the water, and I drop the drops into the paint that I want. Now you can already see me touching my brush, barely touch that black, and already I've got black touching in my water. I know if we're not doing it correctly, if your water has changed a lot. You shouldn't have really dirty water, because otherwise what's happening is if you're grabbing water, I mean paint, and touching the water, you're painting the water cup. And we don't want to use the watercolor in the water cup. So, Ballerina Toes, watercolor is very gentle. I just touch and I'm going to paint my awesome tail here. I do the black. So like I said, water. I can even touch for more water and really spread it in here. It's just going to start spreading and making a really neat effect. You can see that yellow really stands out. You can go in and make a darker wash if you really want by grabbing more of that black as I went in and just touching it gently and you can see it spreading all throughout. So there is my really cool um, psychedelic, as you may say, tail. And maybe for the back, I want to do a neat blue. So I'm going to wake up my blue, which I actually woke up a little earlier. And I'm going to wake up the purple and I might do a mixture of both, a bluish purple on the back here with some of that black. And you can just see if you use a lot of watercolor it really takes over. And if you don't, that's okay. I'm going to do my blue. So my water is still staying nice and clean and it's my project that's getting painted, not really anything else. Perfect. So there you have it. There is my really cool tail, as you can see. And um, you're just going to get to decorate your entire project with the oil pastels first and then the watercolor. So I hope you have fun and enjoy.